This land off Buckley Road in Liverpool has always been home to the family business for Tony Mangano. 50 years ago, his grandfather had a farm here. But all that changed when Interstate 81 was built. Mangano and his family now own four hotels near the 7th North Street exit. As the DOT considers the future of Route 81, he hopes they don't lose sight of all the out-of-town traffic and customers that rely on 81 to get into Syracuse. But they need somewhere easy to get back and forth, and 81 is that easy road for them. Today, State Senator John DeFrancisco said the DOT is down to two options, rebuilding 81 in a way that allows a highway to pass directly through the city, or taking 81 out of downtown Syracuse and going with an urban boulevard. Sandra Barrett from the Onondaga Citizens League says taking the highway out has helped cities like San Francisco and Milwaukee. Those cities not only survived taking down a highway, they actually thrived. The neighborhoods where those viaducts were are thriving and the traffic that went through them has, has found other routes. DeFrancisco and several business owners said taking 81 down would divert out-of-town drivers away from Syracuse and Destiny USA, which has become one of the largest tourism draws in New York. Children's activity center Wonderworks built their first northeast location in Syracuse, largely because of Route 81 running through the city. Easy access to get from every major uh, city coming through Syracuse was a huge reason why we chose to come. Both sides say they hope people will look at how Route 81 can be improved for the long term and what will benefit the most people. The Syracuse area will get an idea how detours around downtown work this summer when traffic on Route 81 is reduced to one lane for five weeks while construction crews make repairs. For now, reporting from Syracuse, I'm Alex Dunbar.